Hi guys, welcome to the first episode of Animation Wednesday Tutorials. We will be creating a scene and animating a Star Wars-like spaceship battle. This is a beginner level tutorial, so everyone is welcome to join in. We will be using Blender, which is a free software, and you can download it from the link below. All the textures and the models will be and we will be using will be free to download as well. If that sounds like something you are interested in, subscribe to Don't Miss Out. Today we are going to create and animate that beautiful Earth globe. Let's crack on then. Open up a new scene in Blender and delete everything by pressing X, so our scene is completely empty. Then press Shift and A and add UV sphere. Press S and type in 10 on your numpad to scale the sphere. Right click on the sphere and smooth shade it. Now go to modifiers and add subdivision modifier. Set render to 4 and viewport to 4 as well. At the moment our sphere has no any material or texture. To add the texture go to the material tab and press new. Change our sphere name to F and name the material F as well. Press the little circle next to the base color and select image texture. Then navigate to the file where you have downloaded the earth texture to. Now it's time to add the light to our scene. Shift A and add the sun. G and Z and drag our sun up to the top of our earth. Set the angle. More or less like that. Go to the light settings and set strength to 8. Change to render view. Go to the word settings and set the color to black. It's only for now as we will be adding HDR image as environmental texture. Now it's time to create the clouds layer. Left click on the earth and press Shift D to duplicate the sphere. Right click it and go to the transform tab. and scale it by 0.08 in all dimensions. Go to the material tab and delete the earth material and press new. Press the window next to the surface and find Add Shader, which is right on the top. 
now we got two shaders top one we're going to set as principal shader and the bottom one transparent base color we're going to change to the image texture So again, navigate to cloud texture you have uh, saved before. Set the blending mode to alpha blend and shadow mode to alpha clip. Set the metallic to 0 0.5 and Roughness to zero. Our clouds are ready. Name our cloud sphere and materials for it. Mark clouds and F, then press Ctrl P and click on object to uh, parent them. Go to world setting tab and change color to environment texture. Navigate to the HDR image uh, you saved before. And a moment later, we've got it on. It's a bit too bright, so let's set the strength to 0.1. Now it's time to add the camera. Press Shift A and go down to choose the camera. Press G and X, then drag the camera. Press 0 for the camera view and then G and F to set it up. More or less like that. Okay, let's animate our F. Left click on the sphere. We're going to rotate it in Z dimension. Set the keyframe on zero degree. Then move to frame 1500 and set the keyframe to on 360 degree. Job done. Our world is spinning. Uh, to make it a loop, uh, we need to change the movement to liner. So uh, split, uh, split up the screen and open the graph editor. Press T and choose liner. Now we can go into our normal view.
All we need is to set up the render and render it out so we can enjoy our first animation. Go to Output Properties, copy my settings, make sure that uh, you are rendering frames from 1 to 1500. Set the frame rate to 30 frames per second. Navigate to the file where you want to save the animation and name it. Set FFMPG as the file format and MPG4 as the container. Go to Render Properties tab and copy my settings. Set the bloom like that. We are ready to render. Go to render and render animation. Okay, this is the results of our work. It looks nice, doesn't it? That was lovely to work with you guys today. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. On Friday, I will be starting a new series uh, where I will be explaining camera rigs. When, why and how. I think that might be interesting for you guys as well. So once again, thank you for watching and see you on Friday. And definitely on Wednesday, to continue our project. Take care guys!